Hey everyone, this is Karen from Blue Rooster Farm and today we are in my sewing room and I am getting ready to open up my July sew sampler box. So if you want to see what I've got, stick around. And a bonus, at the end I'm going to show you some of the things that I'm working on or things that I've just received from other fabric stores that I have plans for. So stick around and we'll see what's in this box. Okay, so I've been out in the garden. I don't know if you can tell. I'm a little glistening because it's so hot outside. Not sweating, glistening. <laughs> um, and I stopped at the mailbox while I was out there. And of course, this was in the mailbox. And so I'm excited to open it. Um, it's heavy. So it seems whatever's in there it's got a lot of weight to it. This might be the heaviest box we've had. So I can't wait to see what's in it. So I've got to do this opening right now. I stopped everything I was working on just to do this video. So I'm going to open that up. All right. And I don't have any idea what's in here. I haven't I've been so busy with our garden this year that I haven't had a chance to really look and see what the clues were for these boxes, but we're going to be surprised together. So the theme says playful summer, playful summer, July, 2024. And there's always a coupon on the back that is for subscribers. And this is 20% off one order. So that's a great deal. Now that can't be taken off of anything that's already reduced or on sale, but anything else that's not on sale that's in your that's in your cart will be 20% off. Um, they don't stack their coupons. And then they have um, they've redone uh, one of their free quilt patterns, charm pack crispies in the fabric that we are going to be getting in this box and they just show a link so if you want to use this fabric for um, another quilt here's what it would look like in one of their free patterns and i'm looking at the fabric and i don't know what fabric it is so we will see it looks it looks really summery so we'll see all right, so let's look and see. Also in your box, you always receive a little pamphlet like this that tells you everything that you've received in your box and gives you the retail value of it and just explains to you what it's used for. So, oh, I saw what the fabric was. <laughs> and I like that. I, the fabric I like because I've been thinking of doing some more quilts in this type of fabric lately. It had kind of gone out of style for a while, but it's coming back in. Okay, so I'm going to set this right aside so that I will have it to refer to. So the first thing that's on top is a marker, and it's kind of a um, mauvey purple or a gray purple. And it's got blue. I'm wondering if it's a glue stick. Let's see what this is. This is blue fabric water soluble glue pin. This little blue glue pin is quilting classic with a, let me get my glasses, very tiny writing. I'll start again. This little blue glue pin is a quilting classic with a water soluble formula. It goes on with a blue tint so you can see where it's been applied, but dries clear. With a light 
adhesive hold. It's a great tool for paper piecing and even small piecing when pinning. Just won't, and even small piecing when pinning just won't cut it. You will receive one of the two colorways. So they have this color, and then they have one that's kind of white and pink flowers and a pink lid. So there's what you're going to receive. All right, well, this will be neat. I have used um, just a regular glue stick before. And so this is a smaller, and it looks like you just push it up like a regular glue pen, but it's a smaller applicator so you can get into a little, a smaller area. Very good, I can use that. Don't have that. The next thing, and this may be helping with some of the weight, but because it's just folded up really tight. Everything's just packed in here. Okay, so it looks like we've got a little tote. Get it undone here. And it's got a round bottom. Oh, it does. Oh, how cute. Get it fixed up for you. Cute little stitched heart on the front. It's like a little bucket tote. Round bottom. It says Small Stitch Love Maker Bucket, and it's by Moda Fabrics. We've got so much love for this darling little bucket. This exclusive Stitch Love Maker Bucket is the perfect adornment for your sewing space. Use it to hold scraps, notions, or fabrics wherever you love to stitch. So Sew Sampler gets this first, but it's a Fat Quarter Shop exclusive, so you can only buy it at the Fat Quarter Shop. And then it's got the little Moda tag right there. Very cute. I like that. Very, very cute. I've always got the scraps that I'm working on kind of in a pile. That'll be nice to put them right there. Okay. So the next thing, this is also something that probably added to the weight. And this right here is a tool holder. And I have one that I received... Oh gosh, probably two or three years ago they had one in a box. Let me open this one up so you can see it better. There we go. This one says, Sew Sampler 100, Fat Quarter Shop. So it's got silicone little flowers there, which help to hold pins and things like that or um, seam rippers. I have in mine um, the screwdriver that I use for my sewing machine, a pair of clippers um, and things. And the old one, let me grab it. This is the one that I've already had and it was in a sew sampler box. Mini Stash and Store is what it was called and it's an Itso Emma and it was green. And it looks like it's about the same size, but this aqua color is perfect. I've got lots of aqua in my sewing room. And let me just read what they say about this one and why it has a hundred on it. It's a bonus item. Its value is $8.48. It's a limited edition Sew Sampler exclusive. Sew Sampler 100 mini stash and store. So this is just a bonus. It's not even included as, you know, the, the amount of money, but it's got a value of $8.48. So like I said, I really like mine. I keep it next to my sewing machine. Having two will be wonderful. Oh, that's nice. I like this box. Okay, the next thing, oh my goodness. I'm not gonna do the fabric yet. We have some foundation paper, and it's for the Woven Star Quilt Block Foundation Paper. It's for a five-inch pre-cut, five-inch square pre-cuts, and it makes a four and a half-inch unfinished block. This is new. I haven't seen that. That's what the paper looks like. Let's see what it says about it. So Sampler got it first, so it's something that's coming, but we're the first ones to receive it. Um, it is 
a value of $9.98, and that's what the other different foundation papers cost as well. It says, this block design is sure to weave its way into your heart. The Woven Star Quilt Block is a classic yet captivating star that will light up any color palette. Shaded and numbered templates make this paper piecing simple, fuss-free, and each pad makes 42 blocks. So I have a feeling we are going to be using this for our project. So let's look at the project, not the fabric. Now this is really cute. I like this. I'm wondering, because this has So Sampler 100, I'm wondering if this is their 100th box that they've put out. If that's the case, there's 12 a year. Like, let's see, 9 times 12 is a little over 100. 8 times 12, um, 96. So a little over 8 years. So this is the 100th box, it looks like. Hmm. So it's called Five Stars. It's a table runner. It is 16 and a half by 64 and a half inches completed. So look at that. Isn't that pretty? Looks like it's got some squares and then these little woven stars around each square. And as long as the paper, foundation paper stars are easy to make, it looks like it's a real simple pattern. And you can change it into a lap quilt. And let's see, what would you need for a lap quilt? You would need 12 charm packs for a lap quilt, but you could also buy the yardage, or if you take a layer cake, you can cut it into four. And so each layer cake is four, so you could do three layer cakes to make a lap quilt. Boy, it's it's really pretty. I can show you. Well, let's see. Uh, we have one put together. This is as close as it comes to being put together. But it would be a really pretty lap quilt. Lots of little pieces, though. Lots of little pieces. I think I'm going to stick it, stick to the, the um, table runner for now. And here's the table runner right there. That is really, really pretty. And that's a big table runner. 16 and a half by 64 is quite large. So if you wanted to make more, you just make more rows and hook them together to make a lap quilt. Now this re requires three charm packs and we've got three charm packs in our box, which is wonderful. And the, the fabric that we've got this time is 30s Playtime. And it's by Moda. And this goes back to the flower sack, fabric and like I said it had gone out when I first started quilting earlier in the early 2000s this was the the rage and it was before that too but um and then it's kind of come, gone out but I think it's coming back in because of its cheerfulness and so I think this will be really fun I'll just kind of give a flip through and actually it worked out really well I might just put up a a picture right here and it will show us all the fabrics in it but, so that's three charm packs guys this box is loaded and the last thing in our box is our peaceful baskets quilt block of the month and this one is block number four and it's called the double nine patch basket block so let me cover up, let me get the best picture here, cover up the cutting instructions. And there you go, isn't that pretty? It 
doesn't look too hard to make. It's just a lot of little pieces. Again, these, these blocks are 17 and a half by 17 and a half, so they're very big blocks. And at the end, we'll have 12 of them, and we'll have um, instructions on how to place them to make a quilt. So this is the fourth one. And you will be able to purchase these block patterns. I don't know if they come out now or you have to wait until the whole season is over and you can buy them as a, as a um, whole pack. I'm not sure how that's done, but I believe these will be available. The pattern that comes with the fabric, it is not something that's available. So you have to have the sew sampler box to have this fabric or this pattern. All right, guys, there's a lot of stuff in here, and I forgot to give some of the values of some of the things. Um, so I'm adding, I'm going to add this into it because that was really nice. So we've got 848 for the um, holder. We have 748 for the glue stick, 798 for our fabric bucket. Our pattern is valued at $9.98. Our foundation paper is $9.98. Our fabric is $35.94 for all three. Right there is more than what your basket is priced at, $35.94. So the total value of this, I'll try to do it in my head and then I'll put the real one after, after this video, I'll put it, the original amount, the real amount right there. But in my head real quickly, six, it looks like around $80. So this is a good buy. Now, if you want to purchase the Sew Sampler box, it costs $29.95, then it's $4.95 shipping, and then I pay a $2.35 tax, so mine costs $37.25 total. That's shipping and all. And as you see, we had a retail value of about $90. I'll put the exact amount up here so that you know, but it is a good price for everything that you get. And you get a sampling of the new fabrics. And I usually don't buy the new fabrics that just come off the line because they're just too expensive right off. I like to wait until they start going on sale and then I start buying them. But for all the things that you get, I really feel like from all the ones that I see that Sew Sampler has the best box. And I was thinking at one point of not getting it anymore just because I've got so much and, and it's just hard to keep up with all these projects, but um, I can't let it go. I really enjoy receiving this stuff. And I've always got that fabric to make small gifts if I need something quickly for uh, um, some kind of celebration. So I really like it. So if you're interested in this box, you'll need to go to Fat Quarter Shop and check it out. Sometimes there's a waiting list. So it might be a waiting list now, I'm not sure. So that is our Sew Sampler box. Let me know down here what you think in the comments and stick around, I'm gonna show you some projects that I'm working on. Hi friends, I'm back. And you may notice I'm in different clothing. Uh, last night, as I was going through and editing and uploading my video to YouTube, I noticed the sound quality on this second part of my video was not good. So I thought I'm just going to redo this part so that it has a better quality. And so I will try to get that out tonight. So this is the portion of the video that I was going to share with you. Some of my works in progress and some of the things that I've recently purchased from quilt shops around the area um, and mail order. And then also things that I'm wanting to start on. Uh, right now with the garden season, it is really hard to be in my quilt room. I am getting in here a little bit each week, but not nearly as much as I want to. But once it gets colder and our garden is done, 
I plan on spending a lot more time in here and getting a lot more quilts and sewing projects done. And I'm hoping to add these to my channel so that some people that like the cooking portion and the preserving portion can see that. And then if you prefer to see the sewing and the quilting and the crafting, you can see this. Um, when I started this channel, I wanted to put things that I really love to do on it and just part of things that are part of my life. And so both of these are some of the top things that I enjoy doing. So I wanted to include those. Now behind me, you might have seen this on my video and I have pulled it loose and um, it's still on the, the uh, quilt, the quilt, the quilt rack. It's still attached. It is completely quilted. I've completely quilted it. I don't have a computerized system. I do it with pantographs behind the quilt and just kind of do it freehand or in the front. I can do just basic stuff, but um, I really enjoy doing my own quilts and it's a lot of fun. Uh, this one I was hoping to have finished by the summer, but everything else had to come first. So this has kind of been left on the back burner, but it's just about done. Once I get, um, I've got a runner that I want to put on here before I take this quilt off, get it quilted. And once I get that one done, I can take them both off and I can bind them and then they'll be all set. So this is a free pattern. If you'd like to make this one, it's a lot of fun and it's very easy. It is from Fat Quarter Shop, which is the same company that I get the sew sampler from. And here is a picture of the quilt. It's called Heart of America Quilt Pattern. Again, it is free on their site. You just need to go and type in Heart of America Quilt Pattern and it'll pop up and you can download it free. Um, I didn't follow this pattern exactly because I was going to use layer cakes or a layer cake. In fact, I used Bunny Hill, which is the uh, pattern was um, Prairie Days. So this isn't solid red. If you can see it with your, the device you're looking on, these are different prints from the line. And so I was able to find a layer cake that I've been wanting to use for a long time. And it worked perfectly for this quilt pattern because it had the perfect number of reds, the perfect number of blues. And so all I had to do was do the background and then this blue here in the center. I'll be using this same blue for my binding. So it worked out perfect. You'll, if you're gonna use a layer cake, you do have to be careful that you have the right number of lights and darks or whatever colors you're needing. Uh, this one did work perfect, or you might have to substitute something. I had a lot of 10 inch squares left over, so I did not use all of them. Um, and I also, this is a rectangular quilt, and I don't know if you can see, but um, up here at the top, and at the bottom, they've added some border blocks, kind of like a brick pattern using their light grays that came with this line of fabric. And it's Old Glory that they used. Um, and I decided just to stick with a square quilt since it's just a summertime quilt. I didn't need a big quilt, but um, I just made it square. The other thing I did because I didn't want to waste any fabric when I use my layer cakes was I resized all the blocks so that I could just cut my blocks, my layer cakes into four pieces, four or five inch blocks and make my half square triangles out of those five inch blocks. And then the um, solid blocks would be, I believe four and a half inches if I'm thinking right. In order to resize a quilt, there's a lot of math involved and all of this is all the figuring I had to do oops, to figure out each block cut and how big I needed to cut it. Um, so if you're wanting to resize a pattern to make a, a quilt bigger or smaller, there are lots of videos out there that you can watch that help you do that. Um, but it is a little bit of a, a, a little work to it. Once you get the hang of it, it's not that hard. 
It's just that you have to really check yourself and be real careful not to change the numbers accidentally because that could give your quilt a whole different look. But I really like the way it turned out. Originally, this quilt was supposed to be 60 and a half by 70 and a half, and mine ended up being 70 by 70. So it's a good size quilt. Okay. Then, that's something that I'm finishing up on. Then I'm gonna switch gears here, and I'm going to show you some of the things I've recently purchased. They've had some really good sales lately, and I've taken advantage of those sales. The first place I like to shop in is Hancock Fabric, and it's in Paducah, Kentucky, and they're well known for having um, the, a quilt museum, and they have a big quilt show every year, and the quilt store, the Hancock's of Paducah store, is a really big store. Um, and they have a large selection and they run fabulous sales. And it's just that they go through so much fabric that as soon as a fabric gets a little bit old, they start getting it out, clearing it out and cutting the price. So you have to really watch because they'll clear out a fabric really quick. It'll go from full price to half price really quick. So if there's something you're looking at that you see that you want, but it's still full price on there, just wait. And if they don't sell out of it, they will slash the price. And so the first time I went there and ordered something just recently, they had two things that were really good prices. The first one is something that I had really wanted. I had seen this bright, cheery fabric and I thought, um, Oh, that would make a neat summer quilt or um, a, even a runner in the kitchen, just so bright and cheery. And it's got cherries and strawberries in it, so really neat. And I also thought it kind of gave me the sense of 30s fabrics, just being so cheerful. It is um, a Moda fabric. It's a layer cake, and it's um, Julia by Crystal Manning. And it is just a beautiful collection. And I wish it had the picture of the colors on the back, but you have all sorts of prints. This one is really cute. The cherries and the strawberries. This stripe looks older. There's some ginghams. There's reds, yellows. I like this, this is really cheerful with these little daisy-like flowers and cherries. And this big floral in the teal. So they are, there's yellows, reds, there's some blacks, teals, and beautiful bright blue. And I love this print right here. This is just a, a collection that I really liked and had looked at for a long time, but it was always um, full price or quite high. And so as you know, I'm quite frugal and I like to get things at good prices. So I held off and this went on sale for $24.99 at Paducah's and I purchased it. Now when I purchased it, the fabric itself, the yardage, was not on sale. It was still $11.99 a yard. So I thought, well, I'll just get something that coordinates with it if, and I'll watch to see if that other fabric goes on sale. And it did. So I'm going to show you another purchase in a second. But I've got this layer cake for $24.99. And since I was ordering that, I had looked at this um, fabric by Paula Barnes and it is Seaside, and it's patriotic too. I had looked at it several times, and I liked that it had the two blues. It has kind of the lighter blue, and it has the navy. And the house that we live in is an old Victorian farmhouse, and so 
we have a lot of woodwork and things, natural woodwork. And so the muted colors like this always look really good in the rooms. And so I thought, I love patriotic fabric. I should get the muted colors because I have a lot of bright colored fa patriotic fabric. So this was on sale. This is a fat quarter bundle. It has 20 fat quarters and it was only $29.99. And so $1.50 for a fat quarter. So I thought I can't let that go. This, this is something I need to buy. So I bought these two things and I felt like they were really good prices and I can't wait to make something with it. Now I've got a plan for this and I'll show you that in just a second. So the second order I did, which was a couple weeks later, they had the yardage on sale and they had it for $6.99 a yard. Now the minimum you can buy is a yard. You can't buy uh, half yards or quarter yards. You can only buy a minimum of a yard and then you can go up in increments after that. So they had this fabric for $6.99 and these were the three that I thought were the prettiest that I wanted to maybe use for borders or binding. And this is that one I showed you earlier. It's got the teacups and the birds and the flowers and the cherries, roses. And then this big print, I really like too. And I thought, wouldn't that make a pretty apron? So I may make an apron out of that or use it in the quilt. I'm not sure yet, but I got a little bit more yardage of this one. So for, I think what I have here, I've got four yards all together. So 28 and 24, 40, $52, $52. I'm gonna be able to make a really nice size quilt. And again, this fabric just didn't come out. It's It's been out for just a little while. It's, it's new, I think, probably just at the end of last year or sometime last year, but I held off and I was able to get it. And so I'm really, I'm really excited. Now I found a pattern that I'm going to use with it. So I was looking at Quilters World Spring of 2024. Just got this magazine. And they had this quilt called Serene, and it looked really cute. It's a lot of half square triangles, and I really enjoy doing half square triangle quilts. And it's really pretty. Each block is 18 by 18. And here is what one block looks like. So it is really a neat looking quilt. Let me see if I've got a full picture. There's not a full actual photo of it, but here is the layout. So it's a three by four quilt block quilt. And it will measure 66 by 86 when it's done. And I have everything that I need. It is a layer cake quilt. I have everything that I need to make it. So I'm excited about that. So this fabric is going to make that. And I'll probably use the um, half triangle or the tri the half square triangle paper to make it easier. And that'll that should whip up pretty quickly. So that's the first quilt that I'm hoping to make. And my first haul from, or first two hauls from Hancock's of Paducah. Then the second place I ordered from recently was the Missouri Star and I'm in Missouri. So Missouri Star is just an hour or two away from me, probably more like two hours. And so I've been there a couple times and really like it. It's a great quilt store and they've got really good prices online. So they were running a special and I believe this was the 4th of July. And I had been looking at this fabric for a long time and I was really wanting it, but it just, it didn't really, I didn't have to have it, but I thought it's such a pretty fabric that I would really like to have it. So if it went for the right price, I would grab it. 
and it is Porch Swing, Porch Swing by Riley Blake. And it has these rich colors. And I really liked those colors. And I thought, and I've seen lots of quilts made with it. I thought that would just be a really pretty quilt for late summer. And so uh, I thought I will get that because I've got lots of, uh, lots of patterns for uh, 10 inch squares and I can easily make something with that. And that was only, and the, it with the price was, it was on sale for $22, but then I either had 20 or 25% discount on top of that from one of the YouTube um, people that shows their haul and stuff. Missouri Star has given codes to several people on YouTube who sew and quilt and they have a code that you can use all month long as many times as you want um, for sometimes 20%, sometimes 25%. There has been 30% off and each month it changes, but uh, Missouri Star will let you stack their coupons. And so this right here, you know, $22, $22 on sale take away if it was 20%, you're taking away $4.40, you're getting it for $18, which is really, really good. I was really excited. And then this is a pretty fabric that I've always liked too. It's Sandy Gervais by Riley Blake and it's Feed My Soul. And she's got such beautiful lines of fabric and I liked these colors. And I thought this would make a really pretty summer quilt. And it was for $24. So you take that, you take away $480, and you're looking at $19 for this one. So you could pass it up. Then I had seen this fabric several times, and every time I saw it, it, it just caught my eye, and I thought that's such a pretty fabric. And um, I've raised two boys, so I've never had a girly girl room or anything like that since we've got three boys to one here. <laughs> but now that they're both on their own, I thought I can start having some more girly girl stuff in some of the bedrooms and things. So this fabric is cottage, a country cottage, and it's by Michael Miller. And I'm looking to see, here we go. It has just some beautiful florals and it's pinks and blues and greens. Very summery, very light and springy too. And so they have their jelly rolls. For $22 each. And I got two, cause that would be $18 each. So I got two because I was thinking it would be a neat quilt to do a trip around the world with. But regardless of which one I, I've, I could make, it's nice to have two jelly rolls. And then I've just picked up two charm packs because they were $7, which would have ended up being five sixty dollars or something. So I thought that was really a good price. So all of that fabric was less than $90 with tax. So I thought that was a really good price and those will be making beautiful quilts. Now I'm gonna show you a quilt that I have been working on this summer besides my patriotic ones. So let's see, I really love Fancy That Design um, house fabric. Uh, she does some beautiful um, collections. And the first one that I really fell in love with was Slow, Tro Slow Stroll. So I had been collecting fat quarters for a while on that fabric 
and just trying to decide what I wanted to do because it would make a really nice fall quilt for my living room. And I finally decided I was going to do a leaf block. So here is the block that I'm doing. And this slow stroll has just beautiful, rich colors. And I used a grunge background. There'll be sashing between the blocks. There's your acorns. The acorns come in different colors. You've got dark greens. You've got oranges. So you got some beautiful, beautiful colors. You've got acorn print so beautiful beautiful colors and I thought that grunge would really set it off and give it a real warmth and I just need to put sashing between them and then decide what kind of placement I want for my quilt so I'm deciding on that now and it shouldn't take me any time now to put those squares together and get a quilt built I still am going to have Still got several fat quarters and scraps left. Um, so I'll be able to make something else. I also have the panel, which I was able to pick up just recently at a really good price. I think either $6 or $6.50. I can't remember. It would have been um, Hancock or Missouri Star or Fat Quarter, I can't remember which one I got it at. And so you've got two really big panel uh, panels and then three smaller ones. So you can make pillows or you can make a quilt with these panel pieces framed out in it. So I've got that. And that shouldn't take me too long to finish up. I'll be getting that done next. So that is a slow stroll by Fancy That Design. And then I also loved another of her lines, and I love the one that's out right now. Um, what is it, Wild? wildflower or something like that. It's really pretty. But the one before that was Dawn on the Prairie and we had gotten a couple of charm packs of Dawn on the Prairie. Oh no, I think we've got, we got the, um, we got the mini jelly roll in our so sampler. And I like those colors. They coordinate really well with the slow stroll too. So I picked up Dawn on the Prairie charm packs really cheap and I don't remember where I got them, but they were a really good price. It may have been Missouri Star on a sale day. And then I also purchased, I believe these are half yard cuts of some of the fabric. That's really pretty. So I'm gonna come up with a quilt pattern to use these. And this will probably be something that will be for next, next summer to make for next fall. But I thought those were really pretty. So I've got enough different things to coordinate with. And then I was thinking I love the Essex linen and different weaves. I was I had some smaller pieces to kind of look at and compare. And I think either of these would be beautiful for background on that quilt when I decide to make that. I have the panel for that also. Let me see if I can find it. Under all of my stuff here. This 
is a real cute panel. So it has the, looks like cross stitch at the top, kind of a border of flowers. And it's got one, two, three, four, four squares, and then home sweet home, um, my happy place that looks like it has been cross stitched. So I will be incorporating that into either pillows or another small quilt to go along or to use up my scraps. So those are some of the things that I am working on currently. I've got tons of other projects too, but these are the ones that I have right now that I want to get done first. And so these are the ones that I'm focusing on. Always seeing neat patterns with neat fabric and um, trying to make note of it, but you know, just can't, can't make all the cute things that you see, but I sure would like to. So this is what's going on in my sewing room. I'd love to see what's going on in yours. If you have any comments or questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the description box below. I would love to hear what you are doing and any comments about what I have and maybe some ideas of quilts to make with some of the new purchases that I have made. I have done more cooking shows on my channel, but I'm wanting to put in a few of my sewing videos just because I know once it gets to be winter time and there's not as much going on in the garden, I will still be doing a lot of cooking, of course, but I also will have time to do some sewing and maybe do some tutorials or just keep showing the sew sampler box and different things that I am working on. So I really appreciate you watching. If you are not a subscriber already, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. That allows this video to get out to more people just like you who may want to see what the Sew Sampler box has inside of it and also to uh, see some different quilting projects that they could be working on. So thanks for watching. See you soon.